A Hawksbill turtle that was illegally captured two weeks ago by fishermen has been rehabilitating at the underwater world after receiving wounds on both of its front flippers. And while the creature is being used for evidence for a federal case, Department of Agriculture biologist Brent Tibbetts notes Hawksbills are a rare species of turtle that are native to the Pacific. And once the federal court gives the approval, Tibbetts says the creature will be released back into the ocean. In the meantime, Underwater World curator Mike McCoo says the recovering turtle, who has been named Tony Hawksbill, is doing well. Luckily, the wounds that uh, this turtle had to its flippers were not very severe. Um, they were bleeding a little bit at first, so we did just kind of some basic wound care, um, cleaned them up, put some antibiotic ointment on it, just like you would for, for one of your wounds, and they healed very quickly, and uh, you can hardly see them now. The Hawksbills are native. Guam has two species of sea turtles that nest on the shores here. Green sea turtles are by far the most common, and Hawksbill turtles are much less common here. Uh, this is a special interest because it's a it is a pretty large specimen of hawksbill turtle and it's in pretty good health other than the two puncture wounds. McHugh and Tebbets also say Underwater World has rehabilitated a number of turtles in the past and when Tony Hawksbill is released back into the sea, he'll be carrying ID and satellite tags to track his movement for a six-month period.